So Resident Evil is in an era right now where reimaginings are sort of a big thing. We already have 2 and 3, and Resident Evil 4 reimagining is on the way, scheduled to be released early next year. And these have sort of served as the filler to kind of tie us in while we wait for the next main installment. With 2 and 3, that kind of tied us over as we waited for Resident Evil 8. And now with 4, that will tie us over as we wait for Resident Evil 9 to get announced later on down the road. And that's what I want to talk about is, should Resident Evil 4 reimagining be the last of its kind, at least for a while? And should Capcom focus more on creating more original content, new stories that we've never seen before that can fill us in while we wait for something like a Resident Evil 9? To me, that's what they should do because I miss seeing those kind of games. I miss seeing the Revelation series and stuff like that where it was all new content. The last one that we got was Revelations 2. And then after that, we, we entered the Resident Evil engine with 7. And ever since then, it's either been a main entry game like 7 and 8, or it's been a reimagining like 2 and 3 and eventually 4. And so I think it'd just be really nice to finally get some new content to fill us in rather than just another reimagining once again. Revelations 3 is the most popular that people talk about as it was rumored for a while where people were saying Rebecca was going to be the main character and all this other stuff and that's just never happened. We never have seen Revelations 3 get announced or teased or anything like that. It's just a rumor at this point but I would love to see it happen. I would love to see Revelations 3 come to life. Whether it's Rebecca or someone else, it would just be so refreshing to finally get a side game that's not a reimagining once again. You know, I would love to see Jill star in it because, I mean, let's be honest, as we all know, she's been absent forever since Resident Evil 5, which took place in 2009. It's been a while, so many fans would much welcome her return in a Revelations 3. On the same side of things, you've got Leon, who's been out for a while too, as he hasn't been around since Resident Evil 6, and that took place in 2012, going on 10 years now this year, so it'd be really cool to see him in a Revelations 3, and in fact, it'd be cool to see both Leon and Jill in the same game interacting with each other, because we've yet to see that in any of the games up to this point. So to see Leon and Jill in a game together, so many fans would buy that in a heartbeat and it'd be so cool to see and so i would love to see that just because that'd be awesome to see those two characters finally interact on screen and because it would just be something new completely but it doesn't even have to just be revelations that we're talking about something that i've kind of thought would be really interesting to see would be an outbreak file three i know a lot of people talk about how they want to see file one and two get re uh, made and everything, but imagine a file three like how cool would that be because Yeah, file one and two could get remade and we could see it with modern graphics and gameplay and that'd be really cool But a file three could give you all of that plus a brand new story that we've never seen before and we could explore whether We could explore Raccoon City further, which would be you know interesting But what I would really like to see is we explore a different incident further like the Terra Grisha incident during Revelation. We could explore that and see like how normal civilians survived it or tried to escape and all that. That would be really cool. Or we could go to Tall Oaks during Resident Evil 6 and see how a group of normal civilians survived the sea virus and you know escaped that. I think something like that would be really interesting to see. And there's a lot of potential for that for a Outbreak File 3 of some sort. But that's just you know, a few examples of the potential that they could go with when making these fresh new games. Another one would be like Co-Veronica. You know, Co-Veronica is named after the Co-Veronica virus, so you could easily just make another game that's named after a new virus. That could easily be done, and you could give us a cool cast of characters that we all love and adore, and put it together, and boom, there you go. Brand new game named after a virus and fans would absolutely love it because it would be completely new content. That's just what I want to see. And it's not necessarily that I'm opposed to these reimaginings. I think they're fine. They're all right and everything and I've enjoyed them, but 
I just want to see some new stuff get thrown in there as well to kind of tie us over until the main things like 7, 8, 9 eventually release. I, I just want to see more stuff like that in between those games rather than just all reimaginings or non-canon stuff like Resistance or Reverse eventually and stuff like that. Like, Give us some more of the stuff that you were giving us before that were really cool because otherwise a lot of these characters just go to waste because we haven't seen most of these characters in forever. I mean, I just said how long it's been since we've seen Jill and Leon, but there's others. It's been forever since we've seen Sherry or Jake or Rebecca, you know, any of these characters. Like, they've all been absent for a while, so bring them back in this style. Have them appear in, you know, side games and stuff. You know, what was Leon doing during the events of Seven? Or what was, you know, Jill up to during the events of Eight? Like, let's see these characters and what they're doing while Chris is doing his thing with the mole like there's just so much potential and Capcom is completely wasting them that's my whole thing on it and I understand that a lot of people want to see a Code Veronica get reimagined it does make sense I will admit because not a lot of new players care to play that game as they do not like fixed camera angles and all this other stuff and so that does make sense I do understand that but if I had to choose after four, me personally, I would rather get a Revelations 3 than a Code Veronica reimagining. That's just me, but what do you think? Would you rather see Code Veronica get announced after four? Or would you rather a five reimagining get announced after four? Or are you like me and you just you're ready to see something new, you know, from a side game perspective that's like completely fresh storytelling and everything? Let me know. I'm going to go ahead and end it here, and I shall see you all on the next one. See you then.